So today's video is going to be a mail call video. I'll be reading a letter from my husband, Mr. Cirrus, and right now, I bet you thought I was going to do merch plug. Well, you're right. So as you know, they've been trying to tear me and my family down for way too long, and the best way to support this channel and my husband and all this stuff is through shopping at onlytechnicalfans.myshopify.com. So yeah, get yourself some badass merch, and thank you guys. You guys are awesome. All right, to the video. All right, so Mr. CRS writes, Hey babe, I love and miss you. I love and miss you too. It's January 18th, still on 24 hour lockdowns. All right, hear me out. I know this video is old, but like I'm a professional procrastinator. It's getting out there now, so that's what counts, right? I'm sorry, Just bear with me. All right, Mr. Sierra said, I've had two viewers write in and I wanna thank those that do write in. Your letters help a lot. Anywho. Andrew from Florida writes, I was watching a uh, FPS Russia story about him doing time in federal pen and it didn't seem that bad as far as prisons go. Sirius answers, yes, you are right, but you need to understand how things work in the feds to understand the level of suck you're looking at. It goes a little something like this. We're going to start at a maximum level of suck and work our way down the list. Uh, the ADX, this is an underground prison located in Colorado. This is a 24 lockdowns all day, every day. However, you do get out of your cell once a month to make a phone call and you get out three times a week for a seven minute shower. I do think you get mail, but I'm not sure on that. This is all from inmate.com after all. They send you here when the uh, SMI is ineffective. All right, the USP and SHMU, and speaking of SHMU, I think that's what it is, SHMU or SMU, whatever. This is where they send you when you can't play nice with others and you keep trying to kill or fight motherfuckers. At the USP, you will be on 23 and 1, that's one hour a day to get out of your cell, to shower, send emails, go to rec, get a book, and make a call. Basically, it's a super max. Note, all schmoos get shut down at the beginnings of 23s. The pen USP. The pen is a high security, but you are out of your cell, free to move about when you're not locked down. Of course, most of the day you can do what you want, but there are politics and you better have good paperwork and you need to have a knife on you 24-7. People I've talked to that have been there have PTSD like real bad. Uh, they've seen their friends get gutted from asshole to appetite most uh, likely from someone they've just broken bread with. In the pen, whites kill whites, blacks kill blacks, and so on, so on. So if you get hit, it'll be by someone you called your friend, and that really messes people up in the head. The pen is where the gladiators are, and there will be gun towers and a big wall. All right, the medium high. It's more or less a pen, but without so many of the killers there. But there will be some, so use your please and thank yous because you never know who you're talking to. Keep in mind that you can work your way down to a medium, even with a life sentence. Also, be mindful not to aggravate a situation because dude may not be coming home and has nothing else to lose. In addition, people will be uh, politicking and you need uh, a passport, otherwise known as your sentencing transcripts. Be prepared to carry a weapon as well. Your paperwork still matters. Uh, a medium and low. There is a lot that will be the same as a medium high, but no uh, politics. You will not be forced to put in work and you can work on getting to a low by doing programming. You just worry about yourself. Understand you will be walking the yard with rats and chomos. This doesn't matter this doesn't matter to most because you don't have to worry about carrying a weapon, so the trade-off is worth it. All right, low and FCI, you made it. You're on your way home, no more lockdown, no more politics, and no more worrying about what the guy and the other cell is doing. Just keep your head down and work on going home. Write home and talk to your family for optimal support because this is the first time you can let your guard down. You still can't let your guard down. No, no way. Maybe like not, you don't have to have it high as up, but I would never let my car down. Uh, no more walls, no more gun towers, and you have more things to do. No, if you have over a 20 year sentence and you've worked your way down to this point, congrats, you deserve it. The only thing to keep in mind is interminagling, interminagling between someone who is fresh off the street and someone who, let's say, started out at a max and is fully installized and work their way down. Sometimes they bring a max mentality with them and let's keep it real. For them, it can be overwhelming and a lot to adjust to. They're not necessarily a threat, but I'd be wise to keep your eyes on them. A camp and a minimum. To keep a camp, 
to get to a camp you have to have like around 10 years or less so everyone is almost home so no one is gonna try and fight you with it here uh, there won't even be a fence just a fat red line that says do not cross however the freedom has been known to go to people's heads and they will do drugs or bring hookers in and end up losing all the work they put in to get to this point and will end up getting sent back to a low for like 18 months at best so you need to keep your head in the game now back to your question now that you have an understanding of how things work, FPS freshers would have been at either a camp or a low. I'm not 100% sure if you can go straight to a camp, so let's just say that he was at a low security. Yeah, he was on easy time. My time should be easy too, but the people running this place have things all fucked up. It was a USP schmoo, and they're still trying to run it like that. Come on now. Next, Andrew from Florida asks, can I send books or... Uh, comics or magazines and the answer is yes but there is a limit on how many I can have this goes back to how this place is being run very fucking poorly my girl has me covered on books because as I get new ones I have to get rid of and on top of that I read slow but magazines and comics you guys can send but they must come from a publisher or a website meaning you can't just send them from home so like Amazon and stuff like that that's where I I go on Amazon and I that's where I send him the books Andrew uh, from Florida also asks, I hope your trial did not put you off from Florida. CRS responds, it did, and not just Florida, but the 11th Circuit altogether. I kind of agree. Uh, James from Colorado writes, well, he doesn't really ask anything, but he did bring up uh, getting put on a list by writing me. And you're likely right, and that was the whole point of my trial, to scare the dog shit out of everyone. Even if I would have won, my trial changes everything. So... I mean, yeah, I guess, I don't know. There, no matter what, I feel like everyone's on a list now, so it's just like, doesn't really matter. I mean, unless if you're completely off the grid, but even then, I don't know. But yeah, if you guys like this video, um, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And if you would like to write him and you like these mail call videos, the address is right here and also in the description. And if you guys would like to continue to support me and my family, there's a bunch of links down in the description, which I greatly appreciate. And Thank you guys for everything, and until next time, peace. You look like a psychopath. Why are you looking at me like that while you're in the cat box? And Poppy, you be nice to the cats. No! Liberty! Oh, shit. No, I don't want you going in that box. What is wrong with you? Come on, guys. This isn't the time for play. Oh, Mom's downstairs. Let's play. Poppy. So today's video is a mail call video. I'll be reading a letter from my husband. Poppy? Poppy! Get out! Stop! Get yourself some badass merch. You, right there. Like this new wristband. Poppy! Stop it. Leave her alone. I know you like to hunt the cats and terrorize them and torment them. Not today, sweetie. Right now, I bet you thought I was gonna do merch prong. Plug it up there, bitch, because you can't talk. No. I can't. This eye problem? I can't. All right, he, Mr. All right. <laughs> is fully institutionalizations. Max N is fully institutionalized. So I'm editing again, and guess who we have again? Her. Her, 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 her. Yes, you. And you know what you are? You are called a princess whore. Do you know what that is, Poppy? It means you need attention all the time. Yes, I know.